Hi there, welcome back. Today I'm at the Opportunity Shop, and this is a little thrift shop that I have never taken you guys to. It is a diamond in the rough, as they are referred to, and they've been around since 1959, doing great things for the community, helping families in crisis, and giving back. So we're going to go in and see if we can find any little treasures in here. They don't have a whole lot of hard goods in this thrift shop, but um, I do often find a few little treasures and they have a lot of really great clothing for really inexpensive prices. So I might check out some of the clothing. So let's go on in and see what we can find in here. Let's see what they have in their little hard goods section. So a pottery jug. It's not signed or marked or anything. It's got a neat design on it, but I guess there is a mark right there. But I might grab that. I'm gonna leave that for now. Think about that piece, I may grab it. Don't need any more mugs. I have a whole cupboard completely stacked full of mugs. These are pretty. These are nice. These are definitely vintage. Um, these were made in France. Well, they're not super old, but I do think that they are vintage. Only 50 cents each. Those would be nice for Christmas. It's a pretty little vase, pottery vase. It is signed. I think I'll grab that for a dollar. Just gonna set it there. It's a little piece of blown glass, studio glass made, what does that say? Made in Canada, I think? Hmm. There's no chips or cracks on it, and it is 50 cents, so we'll take that as well. Glass vase here. There's no markings or anything on it. It's pretty, but it does have a couple chips on the top there, so I'll leave that piece. But I want to check out these little guys. Look at these little cuties. Cats? I don't know if those are cats. I think those are dogs. But they're sure cute. They don't have stoppers in them, but I'm just going to grab them for their cute value. Some really nice pottery candlestick holders. They are signed and dated. Unfortunately, they're dated 09, so I could not resell them. They would not be considered vintage. They're sure pretty though, only $2 each. And someone will find those and add them to their decor. What is this? <laughs> what is this guy? I am not sure. Does anyone out there know what this guy is? Let me know in the comments what you think this is. Just a little Yankee candle, unused. Apple cinnamon, it's two bucks. I'm gonna grab this for myself. 
I also spotted a candle snuffer for $2. I like the wood and the brass, so I'm gonna grab this as well. I have this beautiful glass decanter and glass set here. Just stunning. It is $10 and it does have a chip right here. It's a beautiful set. A glass stopper. I wonder if I need this for anything. <laughs> 50 cents, you never know. I might need this for something. For 50 cents, I'll grab it and possibly I might need it. I am in the book section and I spotted the history of art. It is a very large book. Architecture, painting, and sculptures. Ooh, that's not PG. <laughs> so it's $5, so I'm gonna grab this for myself. I love art books. These look like older vintage books. Margaret Trudeau. Hmm. That is our Prime Minister's mom. And this is a book. I'm assuming it's written by her. This would probably be an interesting read. So I'm gonna grab it for $2. I put my art history book at the front so that it would not break any of this stuff. Let's see if there's any vintage cookbooks in here or vegan cookbooks, vegetarian cookbooks. We don't eat meat, so cookbooks with meat recipes don't do us any good. But I do like to collect vintage cookbooks and I will pick up anything that's got some really good vegetarian or vegan recipes, but um, I don't see anything here. We are in the Christmas section. We'll see if there's any Christmas decorations or decor I'm interested in picking up. There's lots of bags of decorations here to look through. These are really cute. And little clips. Uh, clothes pins, I guess those are. Or clips. What is this guy? Santa here. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Those are cute. Oh, look, little Hello Kitty. There's some cute things in this bag. I'm gonna grab it for $1.50. I'm gonna look through this stuff a little bit closer and I'll, if I find anything, I will show you what I find. So I found this bag of gold Christmas balls. And I need some smaller size like this for my Christmas tree, so I'm gonna grab it for a dollar. And I haven't seen too much else that I'm really interested in, so I think I'm gonna check out maybe their jewelry or clothing. Oh, wait. Let's look at this Santa here first. Oh. It is made in Taiwan. It's a little candle holder. That's actually pretty cute. <laughs> I think I'm gonna grab that. I 
I also just spotted these little beaded candle holders. Handmade ones. There's no price on them. But I'm going to pick these up as well. I'm sure they're probably not more than 50 cents or a dollar each. So I will grab those. I spotted this purse from across the room. I love the polka dots on it. This is definitely 1980s. Let's see if there's a tag inside. And it says high, high fashion, made in Italy. It's in nice condition. And this one is spectacular. <laughs> it is made out of recycled pop can tabs. I love that. They want $5 for this one. And how much for this? $4 for this one. I found a pair of Mexican sterling silver earrings and I believe they want $8 for those. That bracelet looks kind of interesting and the set back there looks like it could be vintage. I'm gonna have them pull out a few pieces from this case and see if they're worth buying. And there's a few pieces hanging up as well that I'm gonna check out. So I spotted this flower frog for $30. It is solid brass. It's got a carved design on it. So I think I'm gonna grab it for 30 and pay up for it. I think it is worth at least $60. It is solid and it's unique. So I'm gonna grab this piece for 30 bucks. All right, let's see if there's any sweaters in here that I gotta have. I really don't need any new sweaters, but I'll see if something Something's in here that I can't live without. That one's pretty, pretty bright and soft and fun. Uh, they want 10 for it, so it's a little more than I want to spend on a sweater. This one's nice. Not my size though. All right, I don't think there's any sweaters in here for me. I love how they've decorated these mannequin heads up. Very creative. <laughs> I found this really pretty sheer purple top and it's sparkly very Christmassy so I think I'm gonna grab this for myself and look at this beauty it's a pajama set with pants and little house coat but it is not my size so thought I would show you that because it's really pretty Let's see the back here. Beautiful. I just found this really cute faux leather jacket made by Guess. And it fits me perfect. It's $20. So I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to head out of here right away. See you soon. Well, my battery died, so I had to go for a drive. So I grabbed a coffee and I'm now at the park doing my outro. I scored some great stuff in that thrift shop. I spent $98.50. I got this really nice, almost brand new faux leather guest jacket for myself for $20. So that was a really great score. And I think my favorite piece was that brass flower frog for $30. It's a beautiful piece. I think it was well worth $30, if not twice as much as that. And I also got some pieces of jewelry, which I don't think you saw in the video, but this bracelet is amazing. So 
Um, be sure to stay tuned for the haul where I will give you a closer look at everything that I got. We are just gonna go right into the haul and I will show you everything that I got. So I grabbed this little bud vase. It was $1, it is signed. There is not a lot of resale value in this piece. So I don't know if I will list it separately or maybe just add it to another bud vase something with some similar color or style or something like that. And I'll sell it that way. I grabbed this piece of art glass. It is studio glass made in Nova Scotia, Canada. I just thought it was pretty. Put a tea light in there. And that was 50 cents. And I grabbed these guys. <laughs> these are some scared puppies and they were $1.50. There is not a lot of resale value on these guys, so I will just add them to my own salt and pepper collection. They will fit up in there, tucked in there somewhere. I grabbed this piece, it was 50 cents. I thought, you know, maybe I might someday come across a piece that is missing the glass stopper and this would work perfect. So for 50 cents, I grabbed it. These were all in a bag for, I think they were $1.50 for everything. I really just wanted the snowman, the Hello Kitty, and the cute little hot pink stocking. These pieces are just a couple handmade pieces and not really my style. So I'll probably just re-donate them. But I will add this handmade snowman to my snowman collection. I have a little collection of snowmen that are handmade out of different materials. And this is just a cute little hot pink stocking. It looks like it'd be perfect for Barbie. <laughs> and this is a Hello Kitty. She's got a couple little stains on her. This one is copyright 1976, um, made in Taiwan. So it is an older Definitely vintage Hello Kitty ornament. So I got those and these decorations. Well, I initially got these for my tree, but they are not vintage. And I didn't notice till I opened the bag up, but you can tell the difference. These, this one is vintage and this one is not. And you can tell the difference in the color. Um, and the top, this is you know, definitely newer. And this one is a vintage one. So they won't work for my tree because this is the gold that I have on my tree. So I'll probably just redonate those. These pieces are not very practical. <laughs> um, I thought they were pretty. I like this beaded um, stuff, vintage pieces. So they work like this. I, I put them on this. I put this one on here just to kind of show you. How, how it could be used. You definitely wouldn't want to burn a candle on there because you're going to end up with wax all over the piece and that wouldn't be very fun to get off. So it's just more of a decorative piece and not overly functional. <laughs> and this is a wax warmer from probably 1970s or 80s made in Taiwan. So you put the tea light in the bottom and then the wax melt on the top. And I will probably just keep that for myself, put that in my Christmas decor. And I grabbed this really funky handmade purse and it is made out of pop can tabs or beer can tabs, I'm not really sure. And I just thought it was fun. It's got a 1980s rocker vibe to it. <laughs> and it was $5. And this one is definitely 1980s, the polka dots. Cross body purse, this one was $4. And it is high fashion handbags made in Italy. Just vinyl. And the 80s are coming back. Thought the polka dots were really fun. And I grabbed a couple pieces of jewelry. These are Mexican sterling silver. 
really pretty. So I really like the triangle within the triangle. That was kind of fun. So those were $8. This one has definitely got a lot of age to it. This is a white stone and leather. And then there is some copper pieces in there. So you can see that it has a lot of age to it. And you can also tell by the clasp that there's a lot of age to this piece. And I paid, I believe I paid $2.50 for that one. And this one is a copper necklace with a rope chain, copper pendant, the rope chain. There's definitely a lot of age to this piece as well. You can tell by the clasp here. And this one I paid $2 for. I grabbed this book. It is Beyond Reason, Margaret Trudeau. She is kind of an interesting woman. And I just thought this might be an interesting book to read. Let's see when it was made. I believe it is was written in 1970s. Um, 1979, copyright 1979. So I don't know, that might be an interesting read. I got that for $2. And this piece, I paid up for this. So I paid $30 for this one. And I believe it is a flower frog. I'm assuming with all the holes in it that that's what this would be used for. It is solid brass. You can tell there's a, a lot of age. There's a lot of natural patina in there. But it's got some coral and green accent in there within the carved design, really pretty. So I think this piece, I think this piece is worth about 50 to $60, somewhere in there. I haven't looked online to see what similar items are going for, but that's what I would value it at. And I grabbed the snuffer, it is wood and brass. And you snuff out your candles with it. It's definitely boho looking to me. So I will list that in my Etsy shop. And I also grabbed this sweater. Well, it's not really a sweater. It's very light, see-through. You definitely have to wear a camisole with it. It's very soft and just delicate and pretty. It's got sparkly threading throughout it. I paid $7 for it and I just thought it would be a fun little Christmas top. And I also grabbed a art history book that is not here because it was not put in my bags of stuff. Um, so I called and they are holding it for me so I just have to go pick it up and it was $5, very large art history book and the guests faux leather jacket was $20 and you saw me wearing that earlier. So that is everything that I got from the opportunity shop. And if you are new and you like my content, be sure to subscribe. If you hit the bell button, that'll notify you when I upload new videos. Until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.